we will protect the illegal Danish and destroy all who oppose us. That is our destiny. <laughs> You're listening to episode 10 of The Adventures of Puff and Little Puff. Will you turn that thing off? Jeez, calm it down, I'm just planting some turnips. You've been playing Zombie Farm for three days. You haven't even slept. That's, uh, just brains. Did you say something? I wasn't paying attention. Are you gonna do the show or not? It's turned off, are you happy now? Yeah, let's do it. Puff and Little Puff, episode 10. What the... You said you were gonna stop playing Zombie Farm. Gosh, you're such a noob. This isn't Zombie Farm. It's racing live, and I'm level 39. Racing? Let me try it for a minute. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Just, uh, click on the race button. You have taken 10 integrity damage. What the hell is this? Where's the race? Well, there's not exactly any real racing involved. How can it be a racing game without any racing? Well, this is the adventures of Puff and Little Puff. And it doesn't have any adventure! My life is an adventure! You think walking to the mailbox is an adventure? It is an adventure! Seriously? Stepping outside with the morning breeze blowing through my hair. Uh-huh. An envelope in my hand, I travel across the front yard. Incredible. Over boulders! No mountains! It's called a driveway. There, I will raise the flag for all to see. Wearing only a pair of socks. I think I'm gonna take an adventure to the hardware store. Hardware store? Yeah, we're gonna need a privacy fence. Otherwise, your next adventure is gonna be jail. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. I never said the socks were on my feet. Well, that changes everything. How's that? I'm gonna have to pick up a bucket of vomit and- Whatever. I wasn't being serious. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell. And now that you got me thinking about it, you said that when you bought those Rainbow Bright socks, that it was because they were collectible. <laughs> well, I... That you were only buying them because someday they'd be worth hundreds of dollars. They are collectible. Are they or are they not in the original packaging? Uh... Because if you're prancing around outside with rainbow bright socks on your pink unicorn, pink we're going to have unicorn. big, massive problems. All right. They're not in the original packaging. What did you do with them then? I made them into sock puppets. Are you joking again or are you for real? Yes, I really made them into sock puppets. And they're awesome. Do you know what I think? You are an idiot! Ow! Well, you know what I think of your stupid iPod games? Hey, you can't put that in your garbage disposal! Ha! Ah, we'll see about that! No! My turnips! That's for breaking my record player! That was almost a year ago, douchebag! So McPherson from Shadow Moon wants to know if we ever graduated from a university like Stormwind or Ironforge. Well, I do have a degree in psychology. There is no University of Grizzly Hills. Shenanigans! I got the degree right there on your wall! Anybody can get a degree when you order it online. What? Check these out! A doctor of engineering. A doctor of Mount Zion taming. Mm-hmm. Doctor of cheese therapy? That seemed like a good idea at the time. Hey, what's the big deal? I'm saving you from future embarrassment. What the hell are you talking about? You go out of your way to make sure that I embarrass myself. Yeah, you're on to me. I just need something to cook my s'mores over. Icy Thunder 1 wants to know what you'd do if you got surrounded by 40 sexy level 80 female goblins in bikinis ready to kill you. Well, I'd use invisibility. And then I'd sneak up real close. Get myself a nice handful of them boobies. Really? I'm kind of surprised you'd be interested in goblins at all. Boobies are boobies, Puff. Just cause you're green doesn't mean you can't fire up the motorboat. <laughs> Paranel from Arthas wants us to uh, give a shout out to her fiance, Crags. Tell him that she loves him, and he's better get her a wonderful one year anniversary present next month. I know exactly what he should get her. Oh yeah, what's that, Puff? A wheel of cheese. See, this is why I don't need to explain to anyone why you're still single. Hey, cheese is a great aphrodisiac. I was thinking something more along the lines of, uh... A box of chocolates, or a dozen roses. You can get her all the chocolates and roses you want, but a woman will never forget her first wheel of cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A woman will never forget her first wheel of cheese. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Don't despise it till you slice it. <laughs> now you're just... Being ridiculous. Darling, oh how I yearn for your eternal kiss. Please accept my gift of Colby and Swiss. Wow. I hope you don't mind if I write that down. Knock yourself out, Puff. 
Submit your question, or shamelessly promote yourself or your guild in the next episode. Go to mindflame.com forward slash puffin little puff. And send us some donations too. Apparently we're gonna need more cheese wheels. In the meantime, cheese yes, checker!